I'm David Ferriero, Archivist of the United States. Across the street from the National Archives building in Washington, D.C., stands a monument to the Grand Army of the Republic, the GAR, the most important American veterans organization of the 19th century. Memorial Day owes its origins to the GAR. In the presentation to follow, archivist Rod Ross will share Memorial Day memories from his childhood and from his early career with what is now the National Archives and Records Administration. Of the millions of pages of federal records held by the National Archives, Rod has chosen to highlight a single page from the compiled service record of a Union Civil War soldier. I grew up in the 1950s in the town of Batavia, Illinois, a town of 6,000, 40 miles to the west of Chicago. In Batavia, Memorial Day was a big deal. The day began with a parade from the town center to one of the two cemeteries. At the cemetery, the service always included a reading of GAR General Order 11 and 1868 proclamation by the organization's commander, John A. Logan. Oddly, no mention was ever made of the Civil War monument in Batavia's West Side Cemetery. Now, I joined the staff of the National Archives in 1977, and the following year, I returned to Batavia as a Memorial Day speaker. My talk was on 52 Batavians who joined Company B of the 124th Illinois Volunteer Regiment in September 1862. For that talk, I did research at the National Archives using Civil War military records. Now, by the end of the Civil War, 10 of the 52 men were dead, killed during the Siege of Vicksburg on June the 8th, 1863, was 31-year-old Private Oscar F. Cooley. Less than a month later, General Grant's forces captured that Confederate citadel. Cooley's name and the names of other Batavians who fought in the Civil War for the Union are inscribed on the base of Batavia's Civil War monument. Five years after Private Cooley's death, John A. Logan issued General Order 11. I close in quoting four sentences from that Grand Army of the Republic General Order, for this is why we have Memorial Day. The 30th day of May is designated for the purpose of strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion. Their soldier lives were the reveille of freedom to a race in chains and their deaths a tattoo of rebellious tyranny in arms. We should guard their graves with sacred vigilance. Let no vandalism or avarice or neglect, no ravages of time testify to the present or to coming generations that we as a people have forgotten the cost of a free and undivided republic. Betray they who murder the innocent freedmen. Say, boys, say. 